Good morning, Konnichiwa. In third semester of teacher training program, I have taken a subject. The name of the subject is Study of Japanese School. In it, we were given a chance to visit a school and observe the classes of Japanese teacher. Moreover, we were told to give a small presentation on our country. In this video, I am going to speak about my experience while visiting that school. School visit was always a very important segment of the subject study of Japanese school and it was a matter of pride for me when I was appointed as coordinator of the school visit program. As soon as I received email from my professor, I went to meet him and then we discussed and I was asked to prepare outline for the school visit program. Later, on the basis of the discussion, I prepared an outline and sent it to my professor. After adding certain details to it, it was circulated among all the students of the class. Later, two preparatory meetings were conducted by our professor, where we were told about what to do during the school visit. We were told to make 20 minutes presentation on our country. Moreover, we were asked the choices of the classes we wanted to observe the departure time, the meeting time and all the minute details were informed by our professor to us. Let me tell you something about the school which we were going to visit. The name of the school was Tokyo Metropolitan Tachikawa International Secondary School. It is a metropolitan secondary school located in Tachikawa. It is middle and high school integrated co-school. 17th December 2021 was the day when we visited the school. Taking train from the nearest station, we went to Tachikawa station. From Tachikawa, we hired taxi and went to school where we were welcomed by the staff of the school and we were taken to a room. As we reached earlier there, we again revised and discussed the plan. It was like in second and third period, we would be observing the classes of Japanese teacher. And in fourth period, we would be giving presentation on our country. So now it was time for the execution of the plan. As soon as the third period started, we all went to the allotted classrooms. I observed the class of English first. It was taken by two teachers. One was a Japanese teacher. Another one was a teacher from native speaking country. When I asked more about it, the Japanese teacher told me that twice in a week he is assisted by a teacher from native speaking country. In the beginning, after greeting, a teacher drew something on the blackboard. And students were told to guess what he had drawn on the blackboard. He wrote a question, what were they? So I realized that speaking and vocabulary were targeted in that particular class. In the beginning, the questions were asked orally. Later, the teacher gave a worksheet to them. I also took a worksheet. Have a look on it. Here, the teacher wrote on another side of the board the, some phrases like, I would say it's, I think it is, could it be, it looks like. And you can see these four pictures which were drawn on the blackboard. Even the teacher asked to guess the length of a line he drew on the blackboard. Further, the students were asked to guess the language which was written there. If I am to give my opinion about my observation in that particular class, I would say it was really a well-managed class. It was indeed very interesting class. And students were given worksheet. They were asked to write on the worksheet. They were asked to go on the blackboard and write what they think the picture was. So it was indeed a very fruitful lesson that I felt. But here I would say something that, yes, that from the teacher's side, it was a complete involvement, like uh, they gave their 100% and they planned the lesson very well. But what I observed and what I felt that there was a little less response from the side of students. Even the teachers tried their level best. They went near to each and every student, I guess. They sat near them. They talked to them. They helped them to make a guess. And... Yes, there was a participation, but yes, a little more participation would have made that classroom livelier and more interesting. But overall, it was indeed a well-managed class and that is my opinion.
the second class which i observed was of mathematics it was taught in japanese but mathematics has always been my favorite subject so i could make out that equation in one variable was taught in the classroom and uh, it began with a class test so i requested teacher can i go around and see what students were doing she said yes and then i went and i just saw that yeah students were doing many of them they were doing very quickly some of them were struggling as well uh but it was a class test and later teacher uh, told me to have a interaction with the student so it was a small interaction i did there where i asked that uh, they like mathematics or not some said yes they like some said no their favorite subject is something else but it is fine it is uh, the choice of the students but yes this is my general observation on the, that class particularly i wouldn't say more about the teaching methods and everything as it was in japanese so i couldn't make out but yes i found that it was a well organized classroom where the teacher had planned everything from where to begin what to do and how to end i observed some more classes there but what impressed me the most was the classroom of art it looked like a small factory to me it was divided into number of segments I do not know the technical words related to the subject art. I saw some students making sculpture out of a piece of wood. I saw some students making frame using colorful papers. I saw some students drawing. And then I had a word with the art teacher and really I liked the concept. Students were free to do whatever they like to do in that classroom. And uh, we also saw some of the work of the students there in the art room which was kept there. Yes like at the end I would say it was a well equipped class like it was something that I haven't seen before and something that should be there in the class in the school so yeah I and that is what the most uh, impressive thing that I found in that school then it was the time for my presentation in two different classes here I would not speak more about my presentation and in fact I should not speak about my presentation you can watch my presentation I have already uploaded some videos of my presentation on my YouTube channel you can go through and check them out later it was time for a group photo with the principal of the school and at the end here I must say I am really thankful to respected professor Mayhara for giving me this golden opportunity to be part of the school visit it was indeed a learning and fruitful experience for me check out some of the photos that i took during my school visit here see you in the next video till then take great care of yourself Thank you.